What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Still not a sponsor. Anyway, I'm back down at Tune Time Performance today. Um, unfortunately, the Trans Am just couldn't make it. I tried, tried. Um, it fought with me with the carburetor, with the distributor, with the alternator. I've been trying for the past week and a half to get it here so we could bring it back on the dyno. Um, it wasn't having it. I think it just, uh, I was a little hurt from last time we were here. <laughs> I think it may have uh, took a peek at the comments and it didn't want to be humiliated again. Anyway, we have the heads off the Camaro's new 6 liter. We're going to put them on the CNC machine, um, do some stuff to them, and uh, yeah, it should be fun. But for now, let's go inside. I'll show you guys the heads and uh, we'll get started. All right, guys, so I'm in the shop right now. We have the heads laid out. Um, we're just going to disassemble them, get all the valve springs out. Uh, set the keepers aside, give them a good cleaning, and then they're going to be going in the CNC machine. Now remember, these are the 823 uh, cylinder heads off the 6 liter that we're putting in the Camaro. I believe these are an LS3 um, style head. The only difference is the truck valves. I believe they're a little bit heavier, so we're going to be swapping them out. But I'm going to set you guys up on time lapse. We're going to get these broken down. Um, just to show you quick how this is going to work. So we're just going to put a rag underneath the valve to support it from the bottom. We've got this handy little tool. There's actually a magnet in here, so we're going to throw this on top of the spring. Just kind of match the angle of it, give it a good whack. We caught the keepers. So we'll just pop them out. Slide the valve right out. All right, so heads are all broken down. Um, got the keepers in a little baggie over here because those we're gonna be reusing. I'm not sure on what springs we're going with yet. Uh, stock ones are getting tossed, obviously. New valves are going in, uh, but these guys are all broken down. So uh, we're ready to get them cleaned up and um, we'll get them over in the CNC. All right guys, so our heads are as clean as they're gonna get. Um, I threw them in the parts washer, got all the uh, major kind of chunky loose stuff off. All this is just gonna have to stay for now. I might come back later with a wire brush or maybe we'll throw them in a hot tank or something. So I'm just gonna go grab something to eat, then we'll get them set up in the machine. Um, we'll start cutting these bad boys.
All right, guys, one of the Camaro's heads are strapped down to the CNT machine. We're gonna go home right now, leave this going. This is gonna take quite a few hours to finish. Then they're gonna go ahead and swap out the other head. And when we come back next week, we should have a nice, fresh set of LS3 heads for the Camaro. But for now, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I just wanna thank Tune Time Performance for inviting me down here again, uh, putting my heads on the CNC, giving me some extra, much needed performance um, to hopefully get the Camaro to at least stay in the tens. If you need some tuning done, regular maintenance, repairs, whether it's a third gen, a Dodge, a Ford, Chevy, anything, they handle it. They have an LS3 Porsche over there. Um, they completely swap themselves. So definitely go check them out. Link to their website is gonna be directly below the video as well as their YouTube channel if you wanna go check out some of the builds. But for now, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you in a few days. Awesome.